Hello there and welcome back. So we're going to do um, a trash to uh, tutty treasures today. This is really a continuation of yesterday's video which was uh, the start of this month's challenge, uh, the Facebook challenge uh, which is, oh I've got a stack of those. <laughs> oh, I love saying that. So, hello and welcome back. If you're new, then I'm Tanya from Tatty's Treasures. Hello there. And if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much. It's always nice to spend some time with you. I really do appreciate um, you giving me your precious, precious time. So, thank you so much. Um, some of these... Um, like I said yesterday, or things that I did in the 3 in 15 challenge, which was with DD Farrago. Some are with uh, the challenge that um, I did alongside Rachel at Roxy Creations. And some of them are, you know, things I've either thought up or just adapted along the way. I'm using uh, the collaboration kit, which is a collaboration between myself and Nanine at Collage Type. I will leave links in the description for um, the playlists, what some of the pockets are on that we're going to do, um, links to the kits um, and there's, you know, lots of links of where to find me, how to support the channel um, and all importantly the Facebook group. If you're not a member then why not go along and, and be a member. If you don't want to take part in the challenges that's fine. Um, there's lots of chit chat and sharing going on and um, if you want to share your work but you don't want to share it with everyone then feel free uh, to, to email at me. Um, so, shall we get started? Because I did so much talking on the last video that we made two things. And I say we. <laughs> Let, let's share this. It was it was all, us together. So, today it's the 3rd of May. To be clever is not necessarily to be wise. Wisdom is rooted in empathy, a concern for all living things. I do like that. And it's uh, very similar to the to the one yesterday. I think, um, yeah, a, a a lot of clever people who I've known um, in life, haven't um, you know been been very empathic. Um, I think they've been too busy, too busy being clever, <laughs> and I'm not clever. So <laughs> go figure. Uh, so today we're gonna light the uh, tabaka. Uh, candle that um, I got for Christmas. I'm not sure if this might have been one of the Christmas presents I bought myself. <laughs> um, I do like buying myself a few Christmas presents. Right, so if you missed yesterday's video, then whew, where was you? <laughs> um, I'm getting ready um, to do uh, my week of uh, the collab kit. Uh, Rita Jensen is going uh, first so she would have started on Sunday um, so I'm starting to make pieces which will uh, go in what I'm making and I want all my pieces to fit on top of this uh, card and this is a 5 by 7 uh, gift card. Uh, gift card? Hmm, uh, you know, uh, a card, <laughs> one of those. So, we made um, two pockets yesterday. Let's have a look. I've wrote on the back of these because, you know, I put the camera on, I start talking, and, um, yeah, I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> why Why are you doing YouTube videos? Um, I could literally just come on and, and talk, couldn't I? Uh, we don't need to craft, I can just talk. So, what is this? Two and... Oh, gosh, that's a funny measurement. Um, what I'm trying to do is equal um, this up. So, oh, it's about an inch. It's about an inch from there. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting... Oops! Cutting that bit off, like so. Okay, what's is it open at the top? It is. Is it? It's a little bit rough, so I will just um, take it 
and um, a little bit. Let's see how that's going to fit on there. That's super. And I'm going to keep the top open because that's going to be um, a that away um, a pocket. So nothing, you know, span dangled with with this one it's just a pocket we tend to well i don't know if we tend to but i tend to uh use the envelopes that you know um portrait way uh, and i kind of forget that you can use them landscape way and this is a lovely um you know pretty long um opening so you know we would be able to well i mean i could open it at the side and have it uh that way hmm that's the point actually and then it would make it easier if I kept that bit open. So if I add a card in there and in there, it would all get... Bleh. So actually, I'm going to keep that side open and then we can go through the back. So that's what uh, we're going to do. And I did say yesterday, the backs of, of these, I'm going to uh, use inks and either, you know, do some splashy, flicky uh, stuff. Um or some stenciling or and stamping hmm. or and or and stamping right so what are we going to put at the back of it we'll put something in there and we'll cover it up i think i need to save that bit don't i shall we go let's go at the bottom yeah oh could go we could go any way that we wanted Ooh, I quite like it that way. That would be nice, wouldn't it? How far? Yeah, let's do let's do that. So I am going to get my tear ruler, and I'm just going to put that against there. Let's make sure it's a little bit straight. So I shall save that bit. I, I absolutely love um, that that image. <laughs> Where is Uri enough? It it uh, it vertical's me. <laughs> oh dear. Um, right. What am I doing? My head my head went then. Um, what what am I doing? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. We're going to take take that out, and that is is the name of the kit down the down the rabbit hole. Um, right. Let's um, let's rip this side off, like so. I did that ruler the wrong way round, didn't I? And it makes that horrible hacking. Um. Um rip it's it's not nice i'm really not got this this very straight i don't think um i shall save all my scraps i should have got a little fo uh, folder out really and, and cut them cut them all in so i did say on yesterday's video if um if it's not straight and what have you we'll fill in with washi tape so this is going to be quite difficult to, no it's not, just turn it the other way around. It's because I'm looking at it a different direction uh, to what I normally would. So I'm going to use um, the edge of the window there and I'm going to oops, start ripping. And it's not a very big window, uh, that one, uh, you know, which way is. So I think... I think that's about it so I'm going to do that then I'm going to rip down here I think I might have gone too wide oh no no that'll be fine yeah that's fine gone a bit there oh if I bring it down then all I'd have to do was cover that little bit yeah, and then I'm going to um, go down here. So if I rip, rip around like so, that will do 
uh, that side and then I'm just going to need need a filler which will probably be be that so let's um let's do some ink and so I'll go around here and I'm using uh, the tea dye so it's a very subtle uh, look when you put it on uh, the white it's it's not subtle you know at all but um yeah when you're putting it on any digitals it is quite subtle but um that's that's what i want that's what i want so i'm just going around just in case you know we see see any of that okay and we're having it that way aren't we oh yeah so soon as we turn it round, i'm like oh where are we? It's, it's strange that is. But well, I've just done all the inking, you know. Got a bit of a dizzy ad going today. Not dizzy as in dizzy dizzy, like just a little bit, a little bit confused dizzy. A little bit more so than, than normal. Right, so I'm going to glue um, this side piece down first so I'm thinking if I go all the way down here like so come on and I think it went to about there yeah that should be plenty so if I pop it on there Let's bring it in a little bit. Bring it in a bit more. Yep. Yeah. Probably have to go go across that corner with my um, <laughs> washi. I've still not not looked. I'm filming this about an hour after um, I just filmed the other one, so I was saying I'll have to check my stash and see see what washes I've got to go with it but this one goes goes lovely and if you didn't see yesterday's video then uh, the washi tape and the dispenser is from stationery pal and I do have an affiliate link with them and I do have a discount code which will be in the description okay okay so that bit can just be patched up um, there Let's have a look. Oh, oh! I was supposed to go that way. Ooh, what are you like? Let's um, do that. I hope I'm not too far down. Somebody said um, about me being quite far, far down. I don't know if it was just on one video or if I've been doing that in in general. Um, if I go. Yeah, that's better. It's um yeah, sometimes it's a bit hard to hard to tell. Right, so we're gonna go over like so, aren't we? Oh, does this even fit? Yes it does. So I can just say there's a little peep um there. So I'm going to pop that there. Yeah, might as well just leave that there, wouldn't I? Um, I'm going to use the, the clow because this is quite a big piece to to glue and it'll give me a little bit of wibble wobble time. Oh, I like that. Let's um, just just glue this bit a bit down. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm going that way. Sorry, right, for a minute I was just thinking, what which pocket am I making? Right. So that's that. Yeah, I really like that. Um, what shall we put inside it? So that's card. Um, let's. Let me just grab um, the rest of the, well, some of the papers. So I might go for the, 
um, the flowered one. So there is some uh, sheets of the kit available in the Facebook group. It, well, it's on uh, Buy Me A Coffee uh, site. They are free. Um, and I think um, some of the these ones went went in there um, because we decided on using the black um, florals um, in the actual kit but I did still really like uh, the white ones so put them in as a, as a freebie um, on the coffee page and there's also um, an exclusive download on my um, Patreon. So really, I've done that the wrong way. I've done that wrong, haven't I? Because I actually want it there. But does it matter? Let's have a look. Let's just fold, fold it down a little bit. Yeah, oh, that's better. Because we're going to seal, seal that top up, aren't we? So it doesn't have to go um, all the way to the top. Let's have a look at that. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, lovely. So we'll pop that in, in there. Obviously, I'm going to rip, rip that down. Yep. And I'm just going to um, ink this side. Because that's where the thumb hole uh, will be. It upside down. Right, let's um let's get this glued glued in. And we'll put a little thumb hole in the side and we'll seal that top up. Yeah, oh lovely. Right, um, did I put that away? I think I did. So if I do it about there. Yeah, that's super. Let's put some ink there and there. And then we'll seal this on. Oh, let's, let's just make sure that's glued down. Yeah. I'm sealing the top. Okay, so that's another pocket, and like I say, that's going to sit on a piece, uh, like so. Okay, so that's one. Okay, okay. Let's um move on to the second one. So this is going to uh, be folded up, and this be uh, a pocket and a pocket. So I want it that. It's obviously not um, coming off the end, so I'm going to fold it there. How much of the window are we missing? Oh, not a lot at all. So I shall leave uh, that one like that. I'm going to bring it in. Shall I bring it in? Because obviously I'm covering it. It's just a little bit ratty there, but I think I think that's probably uh, fine. So I shall ink around. Um, so what I'm going to do is keep this part open so that will be a pocket that will be a pocket and that will be a pocket and obviously if you wanted to glue it on the three sides that could then be another uh, pocket don't think I would use uh, the back as, as a pocket I think I would prefer it um, all glued glued down Right, so I can see that it needs a bit of uh, TLC, this envelope. So you are best to, to go around and, and check um, your envelopes. I just don't want to be putting paper on top of, you know, something that's that's flicking, flipping up. Now we're going to be opening that, so that's fine that that bit's open. 
there was this bit here so let's do that so yeah a bit of DIY sometimes just to just to check so I think that's fine so let's start by that's open already anyway um yeah I do need to glue there so I'll just do that really thin there that should be fine okay so I think we'll decorate this pocket first um I don't think that'll be oh how unfortunate <laughs> I want to put him there um so we've got this bit left from yesterday so I think we'll put that that there I'm just using my nail just to find uh the bottom of the the bottom of the pocket That's lovely. And just rip it off there. Okay, so that's uh, that bit. Will that fit in the back of there? Yeah, that'd be nice in, in there. So we've got a piece for inside. Yeah. Might as well stick that stick that straight in, haven't I really? Okay, let's put that in. And obviously it doesn't matter that it's not going the right way. It's it's collage um paper, so they're all going in different directions anyway. I think I do like using uh collage pages for you know for that. Um you've not got to think about oh I've well, got it the right way. I think you get more out of your out of your paper. Right, so that's down there. We've got a piece for here. I'm just ripping that bit a bit off. So might as well get that stuck stuck down. And I'm gonna put a little uh thumb hole in that bottom so we know that we're gonna be having in a pocket there so let's pop that down here's the colour again put the lid back on the um, art glitter yep yep my goodness me quick oh, it goes everywhere Yeah, that's lovely. So we'll just open that up and let's get the finger me jiggy in. Just want a small one. Okay, and I'm gonna have to put a bit of paper um in there just to cover that bit. Could do me one going. Oh that does fit. Right, let's I'm going to ink that bit and we'll poke that in. Then we've just got, got around the window to go. Still need to do quite a bit of fussy uh, cutting for the kit. I've, um, I think I've cut all the journal cards and, and tags out. I've not done any of the pockets and um, I've started on the, the ephemera. Um, let me just get that and give it a good, good press down so it's as flat as, as it can be. So, oh, that's lovely. Right, what have we put in uh, round the back? Because you're not going to, I was going to say, I'll put that on. Start ripping, ripping that off. Um, shall we put the, the pink on? I don't think we want the pink. I'm going to save um, that. So let's go in, get into this piece. I was going to put the lid on this. Okay, so I think I'm going to use um, the book page um, piece, what's in uh, the kit. I'm not sure uh, which kit it's in. Um, we've split the kits into uh, two. So I've got what you would call like a file folder uh, kit. So a lot of the papers in mine are um 
portrait because I like, um, you know, the height um, of, of pages. And um, Nanine's kit is uh, the journal kit. And then there's a couple of um, embellishment kits too. Let's try and get this one. Okay, hopefully that will be uh, the right size. Let's have a look. Might have to put some tape on it. Any excuse to get that tape out? <laughs> Honestly, oh, let me get my tape out. But honestly, <laughs> this isn't a, oh, you need to buy one now. But I must say, honestly, since I've had these on my desk, I am definitely using my tape a lot more. Um, I did, well, a lot of them still in a basket at the side of me because um, I've only got two, I've only got two of these. Um. Yeah, I've just got two, so um, yeah, I've still got tape at the side of me. It's not very far. Um, I can reach it, but if it's not in front of my face, I'm I'm forgetting about it. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely using it um a lot more. So I'm gonna have to be pretty pretty careful ish here. So it's a pretty big window, isn't it? That's um, right. I've started ripping. So we want to go to here, like so. Then we will go down. I'm going to do it a little bit wide. I'm thinking probably going wide is um, better. Go to about there and see see what that's like. Yeah, no, oh, I've gone way too too far. Right, let's um go across across there like so. Then we'll see where we need to, to fill in. And guess what? I'm going to get my tape out. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's not that I love using it. It's so uh, that I can't rip. But yeah, that's pretty pretty good that. So again, it is literally just, just around um, these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right across there, like so. Let's um, cut that bit. Oh, I can just start and smell that candle now. And I'm surprised because um, my nose is um, blocked off. Mind you, I didn't lose. Um, have I turned the camera back on? Yeah, I didn't lose um, my sense of smell and I didn't lose my um, my tasting either. I went off food, I didn't like fancy um, anything. Apart from the day when I fancied spam, egg and chips. Now, I don't know if you all know what spam is in, in other countries. It's um, a really bad meat. Um, it's it's worse than a bad sausage. It's, yeah. Uh, but that's what I wanted. And, um, yeah, I had a tin in the cupboard and uh, that's what I had. But it's really strange because the week after when uh, Ryan had it, um, I think we'd had about two days of not really eating. And then I said to him, is there anything you actually fancy? And he said, um, I fancy sausage, egg and chips. Um, no, he wanted sausage, egg and potato waffles. Um, so it's funny that when you're poorly... Um, the the strange things um, that you want um, and normally you know bad things but I can't say I ate chocolate or, or crisp while I was poorly but yeah I, fried egg um, and I don't have fried egg very often uh, nowadays but um, yeah I could have had fried egg sandwiches every day um, 
leaky ones obviously like them like them when they're leaky so yeah my fad at the minute is a uh, chicken salad um <laughs> i think we've had that near enough every single day uh, because when i was poorly we had a shopping delivery and i thought oh i'll just order um cooked chickens because you know they're cooked and um i need to go over a bit more and you know you can do all sorts with them so i thought well if i get cooked chicken um and then i bought some prepared you know salad bowls so that's kind of been the quick go-to oh look at that I've made a right mess of that let's Let's do it again. Let's do it from this corner. Because in theory that should. Yeah, so I want some, some down here, but that's a lot a lot better. Um yeah, and I bought a, a bag of wonky <laughs> wonky avocados. Um because I, I absolutely love avocados. Um, I put them in my smoothies, but I've not been having my smoothies, and I do need to get back to to having them. Right, oh, that's loads better. Right, okay, okay. Have I just cut that top? Yeah, of course you have. Of course you have. Why wouldn't you? Right, so let's just glue that down. Yep. So we've got that. Um, I think this bit needs a bit of gluing down. I don't know if it's going to stick up actually when I fold it up. No, that's fine. Right, so, oh, I like that. So that's that, and I'm going to go through about there. If I can get it in. Oh, yeah, didn't want to, did it? Because obviously that... Um, washi tapes on there that's it let's give it some some ink right and i'm going to i'm going to just rip that bit off yep then i'm going to throw my glue around so we're going to glue up here and up here like so so we've got oh, a pocket. Oh my goodness me. You know what? I ought to get one of my Alice tests out. As a... As a, you know, a prop. <laughs> so that's um, one of the, well, two of the journal cards. And I've got a tech that. Got some already inked up. Look at me. So that's that one, and that's that one. Okay. Oh, so we've got. Well, it don't fit, does it? <laughs> it's too too small. Um, so we've got a pocket. Come on, what's going on? That's it. So we've got a pocket there. Oh my goodness, did I even glue that? I don't think I did, you know. Oh, I did, didn't I? And then I had to pull it up to put the washi on. And obviously then um, the glue's on the paper underneath the, the washi. Crikey. Right, so we've got a pocket in there. <laughs> a little pocket there and one there. And like I say, you could have one at the back. So that's number number two. What are we on? Thirty-five. So let's um let's do another. So we've done two. Um the next one. What is the next one? So same same thing. Um so gonna go up there like so. Let's get it straight. Oh. Yep, 
and then we are going to take this back like so to make it into um, a little corner but I'm going to I'm going to cut that cut that off now I don't know if I might take this higher yeah I think I will to there like so not sure how I feel about that so if I go that should make it more pointed actually now that's better so we'll go go like that so I'm going to take this off because I don't want uh, that that bulk oh yeah okay. it's all right thought I was going to the wrong the wrong corner okay so that's that bit now do I want to keep that open and have that as a pocket and that as a pocket yeah I think I will yeah yes because I think what I would do is have that tag what's going to go at the back like so and then or that one like so and then what have I just done with them tags now hidden from myself then perhaps have that like so not as big yeah that's that's what we'll do so we need to I think what I'm going to do is <laughs> get the washi out um, I'm just gonna go um, across here because obviously then this is only going to be um, well it's not going to be one paper thick because obviously we've got paper what we're putting on top of it but it's you know envelopes aren't that strong um have i put the bone folder away yes so if i do that and cut that bit off i think that'll give that a bit more uh stability right can my rabbit fit on here no, because it's the wrong blinking way now. Oh. Right. Um, so let's have that bit on. That'd be nice. So if I get the tear it there, like so. Tear it. I think I'll go about there. Have a look at that. That's going to take his hat off. So let's take it from there. That's still going to take his blinking hat off. Where's the widest? There. Oh, okay. So if I did it there, it'd be there. Yeah, that'd be okay. And then I can just pop some washi there. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Like so. And then if I do that. And that I might actually keep keep that bit and glue that bit down yes that's what I'm going to do okay so I'm going to put some a bit more washi tape across there to cover let's 
do it over and then I can cut it, cut it down. Okay, cut that across there. That's super. Right, let's um let's ink. I think I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna ink all the way round and get that stuck stuck on because um time's ticking. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I didn't glue it. Okay, silly me, I'm back. <laughs> so I've stuck this down and I've just stuck uh, some paper behind there so I could stick that bit down. And I thought that bit, I've not got my glasses on, no wonder I can't see. Um, that, it looked lovely in there. So I've just ripped that down. I'd forgotten to open the envelope, so I had to get the paper trimmer. Oh, to open that. Then Colin decided he wanted to go out. And then I thought, hmm, perhaps I need a cup of coffee. It might, um, I don't know, it might make me even more wappy, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, I got an email. Uh, so I started reading that and replying to that. Then I forgot I was filming. But, um, yeah, I'm... A good week in front and uh, I go back to work tomorrow so I think that that's what's um, making me a bit bit loopy. I'm not nervous about going back, I'm, like I'm really keen to, to get back because um, yeah this will kind of be the last time that, that I go back because um, um, when I go back I'll have six weeks and then I'll have two weeks holiday because uh, we're going away and then in July and August I think I've got three or four uh, weeks off and um, yeah I'll probably be leaving by by October so um, <clears throat> I've not you know not got um, that long uh, to be back so yeah I'm looking forward to, to going back getting back into it um, finding out how everybody is and you know getting dressed and <laughs> being with the, the land of of people um, it'll be it'll be good for me because um, yeah I mean obviously the last year I mean in the end of July uh, you know it'll be a year um, since my mum passed away, it's, it's like crazy. I, you know, it's been the longest, shortest time, um, and I say that a lot about different things. Um, but sometimes that's how things feel, um, as if, yeah, it's it's really a long time, but not a long time. Um, I suppose so much has, has, has happened, uh, really. And, um, yeah, so that makes it seem like a long time because, you know, there's lots of things that, um, you know, I've kind of not rang her about. Um, you know, that's a shame. That's just a little bit too too small. Um, so, yeah, in that way, it's it seems... <sighs> an absolute age it's like oh my goodness I've loads to to tell you to you know catch up with you I think I've done oh no I've not um you know what <laughs> I'm gonna wash it <laughs> I think shall I have some mugs made and say you know what I'm gonna wash you that right I do keep thinking about um I might look into um I think you can get like companies to to make um your mugs up um and then I think they come up like at the bottom of the the screen and it's like I don't sell them it's through another company from from what I've seen on you know other channels that that I watch um but yeah I have thought about it because um yeah, obviously I do come out with some some um odd odd sayings sometimes. Uh, I mean, Laura is 